Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a get ready with me today uh, featuring Glossier. Um, I've purchased quite a few of their newer things lately that I haven't been able to kind of do a review on. So I've been using them, I have thoughts and feelings on them. Um, so I thought I would just do sort of like a really sort of simple, natural, like no makeup makeup look um, using Glossier products because I think that's what they're sort of known for. Um, so if you're interested in watching me get ready, then just keep on watching. <laughs> So I just washed my face with the um, Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, which I absolutely love. It's one that I use pretty much every morning, I would say. I love this. You'll, it's pretty much, I think I just used the last of it, so I'm going to have to repurchase this. But I just cleansed my face with this. I'm going to go ahead and use this priming moisturizer. I like this moisturizer, but I can't say that it has, I don't know, changed my skin or improved my skin long term. It's just, it just feels very, very nice. I think it does a good job um, moisturizing my skin to get it ready for makeup application. Um, and I do like it a lot for uh, the summertime because it is very, very light. It you know absorbs into the skin quickly and there's no fragrance or anything. So I like how uh, simple it is. And this is the newest um, purchase from Glossier. This is their brand new Invisible Shield SPF 35. It is like a gel consistency and it comes in this like bottle with a little pump. It's really, really great. I'm also gonna have like links to all the products down below in the description box along with the prices because I can't remember them off the top of my head. And so this has an SPF of 35. I don't know if I mentioned that. It is a chemical sunscreen versus a physical sunscreen. While I know that there are some sort of concerns regarding chemical sunscreen, it's something that I, I prefer wearing on my face. Physical sunscreen, I always feel like it has that white cast to it. It always feels a little like greasy, it breaks me out, it, it brings out my eczema, and for some reason chemical sunscreen doesn't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this Invisible Shield, just putting it in my fingertips, and I'm just going to rub that in. And this has a really nice, light, um, fresh fragrance, which is really nice. It doesn't have like a heavy, you know, typical sort of coconutty scent. It smells a little bit more citrus to me, so I enjoy that. So before I forget, I was searching around for my um, balm.com, which is Glossier's. I think that was their very first product, which is like a lip balm. And I have one, and I don't know where it is. I misplaced it. So I'm going to uh, prep with the Herbivore, um... I think it's like their rose scented coconut oil lip balm. My lips are really dry. So I'm just going to slap that on and let that sink in. So I'm going to go in with the um, Perfecting Skin Tint in Medium. This is my second bottle. Um, I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to use my new L'Oreal um, sponge with it. And I'm just going to squeeze this right onto my face. So I basically decided to do this video because it's Memorial Day weekend and um, the last thing I want to do is be outside grilling with like a heavy sort of makeup look. I just don't think that's very cute. Um, so I thought this would be a perfect time to kind of talk a little bit more about Glossier and I don't know, show you my collection and how I use it, blah blah blah. I hope you guys are having a good long weekend. So I really like this um, skin tint. It is exactly like the name suggests. It's like just this super sheer tint. And when you use a sponge like this, it shears it out even more. So if you want more of a coverage, um, I would just use my fingers. But I don't mind using a sponge. At least I feel like it makes quick work of applying it. And if I need to add more, I'll add a little bit more. But it just sort of gives like a nice even kind of veil to the skin, um, which is great. And it really feels like nothing is on the skin. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my hair today. It's like, whatever. Uh, so next I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I have it in light and medium. Uh, this is light, this one's medium. And the medium I'll use to kind of spot conceal on my face if I find that necessary. Um, but the light I use around my eyes, this like discoloration I have around my eyes. So um, I just like to use my ring finger and just sort of get some product on my finger and then I just tap that in. So do you guys have any exciting plans for the weekend? 
It's funny, now that I've moved out to Vegas, you know, I don't, I don't really know what people around here do for Memorial Day. Um, in New York, obviously it was like a big deal. It was like the first, you know, kind of like the first weekend of summer. Everyone goes down the shore to their beach house um, or, you know, they grill. Like it's a really, Memorial Day is like the opening of fun times. Here, I don't know because there's no beach to go to, um, and uh, it's the weather is sort of the same for us. Like we've been grilling for months now, so it's not that special. So if you're in the Vegas area, let me know. What do you guys do around here? I'd be curious to know. All right, so that is the stretch concealer in light around my eyes. I I really enjoy it. I like this emollient sort of um, creamy texture that their stretch concealer has. It's very nice and it's just very, very comfortable and I don't have to worry about it getting, I don't know, too cakey or too dry, which is sort of my my like biggest fear when it comes to concealer. So I really do enjoy this. All right, next up is uh, my brows and Glossier makes one of my favorite brow products. Um, I think everyone knows uh, what this is. This is the Glossier um, Boy Brow. I have it in the color brown and in black. I have two colors. If I'm feeling extra special high maintenance, I'll put the brown up here where my brows are a little bit sparser and then I'll put the black here and I'll kind of, you know, work them in together. Um, because I do feel like the brown's a little too light and the black is a little bit too dark. But anyway, um, generally I will just pick a color and go with it. So I think I'm going to go with brown, which is a little bit more, you know, subtle. The black is definitely a bit more of a statement. And if you haven't seen this, um, it comes with like the best teeny tiny little mascara brush um, or spoolie type brush. And um, the formula is like a pomade, which is great. It is really great. So I just start to lightly kind of brush that into my brows. And the good thing about the brown color is I don't feel like I have to be too careful with it. With the black, I have to be very careful. I feel like it can get really um, dark quickly. So brows done. <laughs> uh, this is definitely a very low maintenance look. And then, oh, then I'm going to use, this is probably, I don't know if I, I don't know if I would say this is my favorite product of Glossier's, because I do like so many of their stuff, but I really enjoy their Halo Scopes, and I have all three. So this is a Moonstone, which is like the lightest. Um, it's like a light crystal color. I'm not even going to bother swatching them for you, because it's, it's too hard to see anyway. Um, this is Quartz which is the one I use the most. It's kind of the tone that's in the middle. Um, and I think that's what I'm gonna use today. And then this one is Topaz, which um, is the deepest color. And sometimes I'll use that on my eyes if I want, which I may do today, we'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, Quartz colorway. And again, I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm just gonna rub it along the top here and then I'm gonna tap that onto the high points of my cheek here. And this just gives like a really pretty, subtle glow. What is both kind of like good and bad about this um, Halo Scope is I don't feel like it ever sets down completely. So it stays pretty creamy on the skin. So I happen to like that. I happen to like the way it feels. But because it doesn't set down, if you do touch your face or whatever, um, you may end up kind of like moving it around. So. I would just be careful of that. I will use the topaz on my eyes, so I'm just going to use a different finger. I'm going to use my ring finger and just tap that in. It is incredibly subtle. I don't know if you guys can even see that. And when I'm using it on my eyes, I try to kind of run my finger just around the edge so that I don't get the, the moisture core in the middle. And that way I, get, I feel like I get a little bit more pigment. But I like the effect that that has um, on the eyes. I hope you guys can see that. It's very subtle. So I did get um, the black tie set that came out during the holiday uh, season last year. And it came with like the lip gloss, um, this Halo Scope, the one in Moonstone, the really white one, this eyeliner, oh, and nail polish, like a really kind of ballet pink nail polish, which I don't actually use very much. 
Um, but I like this um, eyeliner pencil, and I'm wondering if they're going to come out with this in their permanent collection. But it's really nice. It's like this um, graphite color. So it's like a really, really dark gray with like just the slightest bit of like shimmer in there. And um, on one end, sort of like a pencil, the eraser has like this little smudger here. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm just going to apply this along my um, upper lash line. Kind of like messy strokes. And then I'm going to use that smudger end and just sort of um, smudge it out. Again, very, very subtle. I'm going to do the same thing to the lower lash line. I'm just going to do the outer corner of my um, lower lash line here and smudge that out a bit. All right, so eyeliner is on. And then I thought I would use, uh, this is another one of, I think this is, aside from the Invisible Shield SPF, um, this is the newest product that I got. And I picked up Buff, no, Puff and Dusk in the Cloud Paints. And these are um, seamless cheek colors. They're basically like a liquid blush. And then I just bought the color Haze, which is a rosier color. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Dusk, which is, I think, the most natural color on me. The puff is like just this very sweet cotton candy kind of pink if I'm doing like a really girly look. This is great. Um, and I think this is probably a little bit more for evening, for me at least. So I'm going to go ahead and use Dusk. And again, this looks like a paint tube from... <laughs> From school. My one complaint was when I first used these, the color or the the actual cloud paint came out and it wouldn't stop coming out for a while, so it was pretty messy. Um, but I think it's finally stopped. So I just put some on like my index finger and I'm going to just kind of tap that into my cheeks here. And you can see the dusk is like this pretty kind of peachy color and it is um, just pigmented enough. I just had like the smallest little dot on my finger. Okay, so that is um, the cloud paint in Dusk. I really enjoy these cloud paints, by the way. If you haven't picked up any, I would. So last but not least, I have lips, and I have two other lip products. I have their Generation G in um, Cake, and I also have it in Leo. So I believe Cake is the first one that I got. I have to say, I'm not, the biggest fan of the Generation G um, formula. Uh, I, it just it doesn't go on very easily and it tugs a little bit at my lips. They're a little bit more dry than I thought they would be. Um, but I do have uh, cake and I'll swatch these for you. So this one is cake. It is sort of like, it's like, you know, you could call it a sheer um, sort of lip color. Um, but it's so weird because it feels matte. It feels like there would be a ton of pigmentation. So, I don't know. Again, not my favorite formula. Um, and then this is Leo, which is a little bit deeper and warmer. So that's Cake and that's Leo. So I think I'm going to use uh, Cake. And the other lip product that I have is a lip gloss. So I'm going to layer um, Cake with the gloss. I'm going to put on some of the Cake. Uh, Generation G first. So there's cake alone. You can see that it adds just a little bit and with the lip balm that I had down it doesn't actually feel as dry as I remember it feeling. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and layer some of their lip gloss on top. I really like this lip gloss. It's great alone if you just want a little something. It starts out pretty sticky and it very quickly sort of starts to set and becomes just really like moisturizing and comfortable feeling and it gives your lips like such a youthful juicy sort of look and texture to them so I'm a huge fan of this lip gloss so that is my very fast kind of no makeup makeup look uh, featuring Glossier. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe below and I will see you in my next video.